Hi everyone, I'm Priya Padam from Data School Cohort 21 and today I am going to be showing you some basic formatting tips in the Format Borders and Format Lines panes in Tableau. The way you format charts will depend on your individual use case, but I will be showing you how to go about formatting the various lines and borders within your chart and also how to save time on formatting across your entire workbook as a whole. So let's get started. Now that we have opened up Tableau, I will be using the Superstore dataset for this example today. In this example, we have a simple bar chart with sales on columns and category and subcategory on rows. You may have noticed column and row dividers appearing when you make certain charts. And here we can see that the column dividers are in purple and the row dividers are in green. To edit or remove these lines, we can access the format pane by right clicking anywhere on the chart and then clicking format on the menu that pops up. We should now see the format pane on the left hand side of the screen, which gives us a wide range of different options for formatting our chart. We can now select the grid icon with four squares at the top of the pane to open up the format borders menu. When formatting your chart, you can either choose to edit the whole sheet, rows only or columns only. Under the sheet tab, we can scroll down until we see column and row divider sections and edit these accordingly by clicking the drop down arrow. You should see that there are some options such as change the color, thickness and style of the lines. In this example, we will select none for the column divider And then for the row divider, we can simply change the color and style. We have now edited the borders for this chart. For this next example, we will start with another simple bar chart with region on columns and sales on rows. As you can see, there are some grid lines and also axis rulers on the bar chart, which we can now modify. To format the lines, we can select the button at the very top of the pane on the far right, which looks like three horizontal lines. Once you have selected this, you should now see the format lines menu with various options. Currently, we have sheet selected, so the changes will be applied to the entire sheet. To remove the grid lines, we can click on rows at the top of the menu. And then we can select the drop down arrow next to grid lines. You should now see a little window pop up that allows you to choose the different thicknesses for the lines as well as change the color and adjust the opacity of the line. For this instance, we can click none. You should now see that the grid lines have been removed. You may also want to edit the axis rulers on your chart for example, by removing the axis ruler for the row section. You can do this by clicking on the drop down menu for axis rulers whilst under the rows tab and then clicking none. This should then remove the axis ruler for the rows. You may then want to make the axis ruler for the columns thicker and change the color. To do this, we can click on the columns tab at the top And again, select the drop down menu next to the axis rulers. We can then choose a slightly thicker line as well as change the color. We could also adjust the opacity to make it slightly less intense if we wanted to. Our bar chart now has a solid foundation. Now, if we wanted to apply these changes to other charts without having to go through the menus again and repeat what we did, we can simply right click on the name of the sheet in the sheet tab section at the bottom of the window. And then when the menu pops up, click copy formatting and then navigate to the other chart we would like to format. Right click on the tab and select paste formatting. You should now see that the changes you made on the previous chart have been applied to this new chart, which will save a lot of time when formatting. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you feel more confident now with formatting borders and lines. 
Please check the description of the video for links to additional material you may find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love the how to build a barcode chart video by my colleague Erica Hughes. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.